Blessed day, my people. So, in today's video, we're going to talk about TJ up top boss who is now being called a coward after a video footage surfaced online where he basically get attacked by one of Byron Messiah's friends. You see me? I think it's the same video footage where TJ did attack about him and Byron catch up. Well, the, fo the footage they online now, and a lot of persons are react to it because TJ actually walk away and you don't know the person didn't move like them or run up to him and all of that. You see me? Even TJ security have to run with the boy. You see it? So, I'm going to show you the video footage and you can tell me what you think. Also, I'm going to talk about Alkaline Sister clapping back at Russian after Russian made some comments saying that he wouldn't work with Alkaline. So, you don't know, Kerry actually make a post on her Instagram story and it's a post basically addressing Russian. You see it? Also, I'm going to talk about Ayaktain reacting to a popular producer, styling him and basically the producer saying pay Ayaktain some money for Vice Pan and Rhythm and I'll know the entertainer and Vice on it is it also we're gonna talk about the angel speaking on how she made peace with spice and also the angel not really want comment on being him an engagement and also she said the female clashing nowadays it too nasty <laughs> Also, I'm going to talk about her grandmother speaking out after her 14-year-old grandson was conned up. You don't know him, did that was like a plastic tool in his hand, a plastic rifle. It look real, my people, you see it. So, you know, him actually was taken out. Very sad situation. So, before we go going to further into the topics, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, head over to my Instagram page, MixUpTime4, but I definitely appreciate that. Now, the first thing we're going to talk about is TJ Up Top Boss. See, my people? So, as me did I say, a video footage has surfaced on the internet right now as it relates to the situation that took place last year with TJ and Byron Messiah, right? Um, I think at some Hot 97 event where they keep, I don't really remember, my people, but some event did keep, TJ did book feed, Byron Messiah did book feed, and the two of them did end up catch up in an altercation. Remember, TJ did actually talk about it recently, and same did I got Tom Byron in him face and all of that. So now a little clip has circulate, but in this clip, we don't really see the part where TJ talk about Zane, but only see like TJ walk away, and some, I guess a Byron friend run up to him and want to fight him, and TJ took the high road up by walking away. Zane, my people, my big up TJ for that, but because at the end of the day, a lot of them people here, I'm even showing you some of the comments them. Zane, some of them people here were talking about TJ full amount and him only bad on internet. If the artist did go up and do something now and police arrest him, on the same one with that said, boy, them artists are fully them mature them freedom. So it's like on a, on a need for tell the artist them, say, yo, big up for do them thing here. Zane, stop try to put negative things in the youth mind. But anyway, my people, I'm going to show you the clip where TJ walk away and as I say, one time security or bodyguard or whatever, I run with the boy and thing, is it? So check out that clip here and then we'll move on to um, some of the comments, them, is it? Mm -hmm. So yeah, my people, that's the clip I talk about. And you don't know, as I say, it's just a short clip. We don't really get to see the part where TJ did a talk about, say, you know, Byron had been up in face and all of that. But regardless, that are the clip and you don't know all the people that talk about it and that call TJ a coward. I actually get to some of these right now Zane somebody say walking away does not mean you're weak we literally be the deadliest somebody say be an internet mouth up top boy have <laughs> uh boy somebody say why should he throw away everything he has worked hard for he did the right thing somebody say Tommy Lee Vice them not bad them does attack them what Tommy Lee Vice them not bad talk them attack them a chat is it somebody say TJ about America and the rest of the world. He ain't got time for people to dry him out. He did the right thing. Somebody say, um, me sure Byron no see blood. Dead boy and gun smoke like TJ in him entire lifetime. Hurricane breeze. Um, somebody say, um, man can't travel in peace. Somebody say, watching this, I just get the impression of the weaker one I run off them out, you know. Sometimes you have to know when to walk away, because some stuff not worth it. Yes, it. Somebody laugh off at TJ. Somebody say, walking away is not coward at times. It's who the better man is. Yes, it. Somebody say, them not see Byron 
and things. So you don't know, it seemed like a Byron friend, I try to run up on him and I, you know, maybe more want to impress Byron. You know, you have some little man with their own artists and them just want to impress the artist by acting bad. You see it, but as me say, you know, we not promote no violence around here. TJ, you did the right thing by walking away, you see it. I'm glad you do that because, you see, if you follow some of them fans, yeah, a prison you end up. You don't need to prove nothing to nobody. Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. Next thing we're going to talk about is Alkaline Sister Kerry Zine, my people. Now, I don't know say Russian got so boom and an interview recently, right? And he was asked a question if he would actually work with Alkaline. Um, Russian said no, him good over Yasso. Now, I see some vendetta people in them feelings. And really and truly, I don't see why one should have in on the feelings because the man is just being honest. Would you rather rush and say, yeah, man, would I work with Alkaline? And in my mind, him no said him no feel that way. And also, Russian, you know, no say Russian is a Gaza producer, basically. Zane, I don't really want to put him in a camp, but no say vibes can tell him he produce what he hits for. Um, so you really expect the man to say anything different from that. But to me, that is not a diss for saying, no, him good over here. He was just being honest. Um, but anyway, some people look on it say, this him, this him, Zane. But anyway, we see Alkaline Sister goes a boom now and repost a clip, Zane, uh, re repost, yeah. Basically, a clip was somebody shared on them Instagram. I guess they probably tag her or something. I don't know. I'll actually play the clip and we're going to look on the caption we post over the clip. Watch this, my people. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, some man just licked for money, Mr. Virgin. I want to, man. I don't know you, bro. Yeah, man, the caption for that, it say, F the Russian, my artist no need a rhythm, bro. L-O-L. You see it? And when I say F, basically, them say F-U-C-K. You understand? So, you don't know it. Them and make Russian know, say, we don't need for them on the dirty money rhythm, which is what the person who they do the interview ask him about. And even Russian, you know, sometimes all them question the... I don't know still. I guess it's an interview and when you ask a question, you have to answer. But sometimes when you answer some of them questions, they just make you look away. Because for one, Russian is a man we are talking about, you know, him not really like the division and one man can run dance hall and unity. And then when you say this now, you know, work with Alkaline, it make you look away. You see me? And I guess maybe if him did say him now and answer the question, people would have probably say him a coward or whatever. I don't know. But let me know anything about this in the comment section. Is it? Next thing we're going to talk about is Ayak Ten reacting to a producer saying that him style him. Zane, my people, the producer saying pay Ayak Ten some money for Vice Panna and Ayak Ten never do that. You understand? Ayak Ten, I guess, take the money and no Vice Panna him. So the producer speak out now. You don't know, say January in a, where a lot of feud is currently taking place right about now. You see it? So over Shelly and Coran page, she posted the producer speaking, and that is where Ayak Ten actually got so boom and left a comment, you understand? So I'm left a comment saying, my hat, only thing 2024 can start off so, and hat Ross name no in a mix, <laughs> and him a laugh. So it seem like him actually had take this whole situation, you understand? Even the producer was over there commenting at all about, and a clout him a do this for and them thing there, you understand? A serious business him actually the pan, you see, but now I'm going to read a comment there. The producer himself also made a post where he a big up Movado and he also put out like a voice note between him and Movado, um, an Instagram voice note, and he also put out a voice note between him and Ayak Tien, but that one there, WhatsApp. So he posts up that zine and it said, Every day, I we and you, their studio, and you wouldn't try to bust a young producer. That's why my affi, no, that's why my affi rate Movado to the ground. Never take a dollar and send me out there. You see it, my people. Movado saw that, and this is what Movado said to the producer. Yeah, man. <laughs> Bless up, man, dog. You don't know you see it. Yeah, man. <laughs> Bless up, crime, Mr. Mo, man. I'm a youth. I'm a guru, you know. <laughs> yeah, my people. So, you don't know him does post that over upon him status. Well, I actually get to the um the WhatsApp conversation we him post between him and Ayakti, you know, my people. Check out this. Because you call me a bad up yourself. So I have to say, dog, you can't bad me up, you know. Because remember, me are bad people and you are bad people. So anything or anything. And you know my thing and me know you. I say things, but... 
Yeah, man. So that I go on for what I go on at the end of the day still, you know. Me here, I act here and I say, yeah, bad people, me are bad people and them thing there. They, according to the producer, I say, me no know about you as no bad people, you <laughs> So I don't really know if he might try if he really test Ayaktian for see if he's a real bad man or if he just run off him out. But at the end of the day, like we always say, we're not promoting no violence around here. Here's it. If Ayaktian really and truly take your money and no advice for you, you don't know the entertainer. You know, you don't even talk it out then, put it that way there because more don't want a man to take my money and no advice for my ready man. You understand? Even though all of these is just allegations because. We're not your Ayakteen side of this story as yet, is it? So I guess we have to wait and see if the girls them hot rats are going to forward out and tell the side of the story, is it, my people? So let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is the angel speaking about how she and Spice actually reconcile and also, you know, talking about clashing and all of these things. So let me get to this article so I understand what's going on, all right? So it said, the angel details how she and Spice reconciled, no comments on Beanie Man engagement, says female clash too nasty. Dancehall artist D Angel has fully accepted her new moniker War Angel and spoke about embracing her more aggressive side leading up to Sting 2023 during an interview. The artist also discussed calling out her ex's bounty killer and Beanie Man and her reconciliation with Spice. According to D Angel, while she has always had the temperament of a clash artist, she was inspired to take on the persona of War Angel after a dream confirmed it was the path that she would take. She also expressed confidence and willingness to take on anyone in a clash, including Queen Africa, Beanie Man and Bounty Killer. While she has resolved her issues with iFreaka, D'Angel shared on the Fixed podcast that she was fully prepared to clash after iFreaka criticized her online last year about being an advocate for change. D'Angel said she was only she was the only female artist she was willing to clash at the time as iFreaka provoked her. D'Angel also clarified that she would never clash with someone who is not on her level. Speaking on why she called out her exes Beanie Man and Bounty last year on her single War Angel, the stronger singer said that she wanted a clash because she thought it would have been great for dancehall culture. With regards to the clash between Jada Kingdom and Steph Landon, female clash too nasty, says D Angel, while highlighting that even though she would clash with females, she does not like some of the things being said in the songs. Reflecting on Beanie and Bunty Pass rivalry, D Angel expressed that she carried no ill feelings for the DJs who called her out during their feud. Further speaking on her exes, the artist shared that she learned the craft of entertaining, entertaining from Beanie while she copied her aggressive demeanor from Bounty. D'Angel went on to speak briefly about her former husband's exes, sharing that she and Carleen Smith are very supportive of each other. She added that her son, Marco Dean, has a good relationship with Beanie's previous partner, Crystal Tomlinson. However, she did not divulge her feelings regarding Beanie's fiancé, Camille Lee, who named so was D'Angel's response when asked about Camille. D'Angel also spoke on her unexpected reconciliation with Spice last year at the International Reggae and World Music Awards after their fallout in 2019. According to the Stress Free artist, she decided that she would speak to Spice and end their feud whenever they met again. As she was hosting IRAWMA, D'Angel said she used the opportunity to talk to Spice face to face and put an end to their previous drama. The artist noted that she is not the type to carry grudges. The Angel went on to discuss her performances at Sting 2023 and declared that she was the event's champion. The artist shared that her performance led to her getting booked for several other events and she has, and she is already booked for this year's staging. You see, my people, so that's what the Angel have to say as it relates to, you know, those situation and thing. Seem like she narrate being a man fiancé still, but you don't know the thing, go. Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about a grandmother who is currently speaking out after her 14-year-old grandson was taken out. You see it? He did that whole like a plastic tool in her hand. Anyway, let me get to this story right away. So it's a grandmother says the 14-year-old teen that was taken out was holding a plastic gun in viral pictures. 
amid circulating photographs of 14 year old Rashim Wilson posing with seemingly an assault rifle, his grandmother has spoken to shut down all misconceptions. Grandmother Michelle Dawkins has denied the speculation that her late grandson was involved in illicit activities. This speculation sparked after pictures surfaced on the heels of the teen being caught up and taken out during what the police said was a con out. Dawkins, who has maintained her grandson innocent since his passing, has denied that the rifle Rashim was photographed with was real. According to Dawkins, the rifle was a plastic one that was used in a music video showed that Rashim was a part of. Dawkins told the Jamaica star, it is him in the photograph, but the tool is not real. It is a prop for a video shoot that he was in. It was a plastic one, and the video shoot took place about late December. It was not a G-man, so I just want to clear that up. You see it, my people? Boy, oh boy. May I tell you the truth, people? Very sad situation still, you see me? Plastic or not, you have to know where you are old. And even though the police them story is a bit different because obviously if a car not go on, then the tool would obviously have to be a real one. You can't fire bullet from a fake tool. You understand my people? So I don't know, but somebody is definitely lying as it relates to this situation. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bless upon yourself until we drop the next video. I'm out.